Welcome back everybody, today we're going to look at the MH500 wood burning stove from Quechua. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'm going to be looking at this wood burning stove I got hold of, it's from Decathlon, they sell it under the Quechua brand, um, comes with this quite nice case and I thought we'd just give it a little go and uh, see what's what with it. So like I said it comes with this quite nice heavy duty bag, uh, got a handle on the top and it's got this uh, zip here, goes all the way around so the whole front opens up, around the back there you've got a few kind of safety instructions and same inside as well and then that's how the stove comes I've put some fire lighters in here myself before coming out yeah it's just got that little cardboard tray as packing so there's the stove and inside the uh, the lid you've got this um, or multi-tool let's say we'll go over that in a second you've got some instructions for that there a nice pocket here, it's got some literature in it, but uh, yeah, let's get this uh, case out of the way. It is padded, I mean this isn't a fold flat st uh, stove for kind of long treks, but um, for car camping and stuff it could be quite good. So let's have a little look at the stove here, you can see the design is uh, like a wood gasifier style stoves it should be pretty efficient should be burning off them fumes coming out of the uh, wood itself got this little closing air vent here for putting your wood in on the bottom here is a a tray for your ash which probably opens up the airflow a bit as well so I have a play with that the uh, multi-tool let's call it can be used for pulling that out for adjusting the flap um, it can also go through these two holes in the top of the stove here so you can move the stove about while it's hot, empty it out and things like that which is pretty handy um, obviously you can also use it for blowing air onto your fire too so pretty handy uh, little tool to come with it um, seems pretty well thought out I mean the only negative I'm really seeing is the fact that it's not fold flat in any way or even nesting but um, Obviously that's not the category it's trying to fill, so you know we'll, we'll review it for what it is and see how it performs. It does feel very well built, it's all riveted together, very solid feeling. And with that case as well, I can imagine it being quite hard wearing, great for throwing in the back of a truck or caravan or whatever you like to do. It's, yeah, maybe keeping in a little shelter or something. Solid bit of kit. Collected up some twigs and I just thought I'd uh, cut some slightly thicker bits for the burn um, it says up to 20 centimeters is the uh, ideal so we'll go have a bit of an estimate on that I'm just going to use fire lighter to get it going today, nice and easy. And use these twigs. I'll fill it from the top to begin, and then start feeding it from the front little feeding hole. I suppose I could open that up, make sure I'm getting all the oxygen in. We seem to have some pretty good flames now, so there must be some heat in there. Usually with wood burning stoves sometimes you can block off that air flow um, by putting a pan on too soon. This has these holes here plus the you know the uh, wood gas jets inside 
So I'm hoping it's not uh, going to block off because this is covering the entire top there. So we'll see how that goes and make a cup of tea. We'll see a bit of smoke already, we'll see what happens. You can definitely see the flames inside still. Right, there's a lot less smoke now. I think it's kind of found its way. You can see the flames coming up to the right height. You can feed it from here. And there's going to be a lot of heat hitting that kettle, I can tell you. Well, there is still a bit of smoke. I guess because this is covering it completely, but I don't really see how else it's going to work without a pot lifter. Um, yeah, it could do just a slight pot rest on there or something. Just a little more airflow. Let's have a look. If this was up a tad higher, yeah. Look at that. But like that, just completely blocks it off. Maybe if there, when there's a bit more heat in there, maybe it'll come out here more. But, uh, you know, just that one inch makes all the difference. Yeah, I think this needs some kind of pot rest. Oh, it's definitely a hell of a lot of heat there. That did uh, boil pretty quick. Well, I'm allowing some heat to build up in there and I'm gonna cook something. Um, the stove base is 19 centimetres, or uh, 7.48 inches. This is off the bag here. Uh, 24 and a half centimetres tall, which is uh, 9.65 inches. Um, the weight I'll put on the screen, I don't know off the top of my head. It says uh, for the hiker's camp on the website, which, you know, is clearly not the case. You're not gonna hike with this, I don't think. I don't think anyone is going to. Not for a, a distance, at least. Um, but yeah, let's build up some heat in it and give it a chance to to cook. We'll see how well that does. I thought I'd give it a bit of a rest with bacon for, for now and just make a uh, cheese toasty. So I'm just going to butter up the outside of this. And I cut some cheese before coming out. Got a little bit of salsa as well, so like a salsa dip. May as well put some in, liven it up a bit. Let's get this in a pan. So as soon as the pan's off, yeah, the smoke goes. Put it back on, straight back. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this stove. There's still a lot of heat there. It's still working. It's just. I don't know, just not particularly well designed. You can see it's definitely got that heat there. Just for a wood gasifier it's just very inefficient. like a nice cheese toasty. So what's going on here? I don't really know. Um, it's inefficient, it's bulky, it's fairly heavy. They're the negatives and very smoky obviously which comes under it being very inefficient. These holes are clearly not big enough. Yeah, it needs a pot rest. I can't really recommend this. Not at all. Not even for sort of car camping or anything. I'd still say get one that folds down. I mean, this is 50 pounds, and you can get, um, a, you know, one Tigris one or something like that. But you could pay a little bit more. Uh, get Bushcraft Essentials or Firebox. But uh, yeah, even them um, nesting wood gasifiers, which I don't like because they're too efficient. Um, 
they're great for getting like a boil on, but for cooking on stuff, they're just, they burn too fast. But this is in kind of a no, no man's land. Yeah, it looked cool, <laughs> but uh, it's not very good. Um, yeah, that's my fault, <laughs> don't buy it. Uh, there's plenty of other options out there better than this. Um, thank you for watching, I'm gonna enjoy my cheese toasty, I guess. I mean, it does work, just not very well. It just, you know, cakes you in smoke and isn't very efficient. So until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you soon. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.